Mr. Green? Mr. Green? Yeah. You, you need any help? Mm-mm. I, I just want you to know, I think, I think you're the best ever. Yeah, sure. Want my Coke? It's okay, you can have it. No, no. Really, you can have it. Okay. Coke and a smile Makes me feel good Makes me feel nice See you around That's the way it should be I like to see The whole world is smiling with me Coca-Cola has a Have a good I don't know why they only gave him a 5 throw accuracy short as Mutt Card. It's a travesty because he couldn't have been more accurate throwing that shirt. I would have given him 99 throw accuracy. So anyways, as you can tell, today's video is a Mean Joe Green review. Coke's the sponsor, clearly. And it's going to be easy to point out Mean Joe Green. He's the one with the star underneath him. Getting a little bit of lag in this game, but you can see Mean Joe uh, in the middle of the D-line. Um, basically getting single teamed. Let's talk a little bit about his history as you watch him get stood up on the goal line. Born September 24th, 1946 as Charles Edward Green, known as Mean Joe, and that big guy from the Coke commercial you saw earlier. He was a 10-time Pro Bowler, a 4-time Super Bowl winner, 2-time Defensive Player of the Year. He's in the Hall of Fame and only one of two players to have their number retired by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Green retired in 1981, but he was so good the Steelers retired his spot on their defense. They switched to a 3-4 in 1982. But instead of, you know, a traditional review where I give you my general thoughts on Mean Joe, I'll, break down, I'll probably break down the stats here in a little bit. I just want to go play-by-play play here for a little bit before getting into those stats. You know, he's 6'4", 275 pounds. Um, some outside runs, he's not going to help you. But no defensive tackle really will help you on outside runs. On inside runs, do you see him get single-teamed? It seemed to me, after reviewing the footage of Mean Joe, see him break that double-team there on the right. He did better against double teams than he did against single teams. Uh, he was able to split double teams or take up two blockers, but right there, there was a double team onto the linebacker that he did not play well. He got driven back quite uh, a lot. And that's like most defensive linemen in this game. Uh, it is, it's the one thing I wish EA uh, would work on for 17. My biggest... Uh, let, uh, and then Mean Joe can't fall on a fumble, but his play rec at 90 should uh, get him as good as possible picking those up but anyways EA needs to work on O-line D-line interactions like they worked on wide receiver defensive back interactions and it's really like one of the last things remaining before this comes an amazing game I mean there's still some things they can improve on of course in other areas but the O-line D-line really needs to um, be improved me and Joe getting trapped on the O-1 trap there so he doesn't play that any better than any other defensive lineman I've had I'm still getting trapped that double, double team he was able to take it he fell down um, that was a bad user there. Uh, Joe took that double team. So he would be good playing as a one technique, but 300k for a one technique, um, I, I'm not sure whether it's worth it. See how f he gets driven five yards downfield. Defensive tackles in the NFL don't get driven five yards downfield. Single teams, double teams, it will happen, yes, but not as frequently as it does in Madden. And players don't get locked on like they do in Madden, like they do in the NFL. Like right there, Joe probably would have shed it and gone one way or the other. Inside zone blocking needs to be fixed. Uh, but I guess we can talk a little bit about a stat. 74 speed, 86 acceleration. Kind of lower end for what you want on a pass rushing defensive lineman. Like, see, I used him there on the goal line. And he would be the, probably the best user defensive tackle as I get 11 Steelers around it, but one uh, opponent gets the touchdown. A strength at 99. As you saw on my defensive line, testing earlier strength isn't as important as block shed is. 72 agility. 95 stamina, 66 jumping. He's not going to be jumping jack flash or anything. 95 block shed, which is really what you want on the defensive tackle. That's really good, but for 300k, it should really be 99, 98. Power move, 97. Great on the pass. Uh, hit power, 97 in case he gets to the quarterback. Tackling, 92. Play rec, 90 for screens. And that's really his biggest benefit over lower end defensive tackles is that he'll be able to shut down that screen with the play rec. Um, but otherwise, do I think he's worth the cost? No. J.J. Watt's 94 for around the same price. will probably play better, faster, higher block shed, better power move. You can move it down to defensive tackle. If you use her, like I said, J me and Joe is good. But again, J.J. Watt would be better. 
and I don't think defensive tackles will be worth how much you have to pay for this mean Joe until EA revamps their defensive tackle offensive lineman interactions. That's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, mean Joe.